You see, I condemn the killing of any innocent people in any part of the world. That is my, my, my stand as a Muslim. I condemn the killing of any innocent people in any part of the world, whether in Iraq, whether in Afghanistan, whether even in Europe, any place to kill innocent people is a crime against Islam and against Muslims. And did not change my word, the same word. I continue to believe any jihad against any occupying forces. I believe, you know, I support it. That's my duty as a Muslim. But doesn't mean I support any form of terrorism or attacking innocent people. Would you support uh, Bin Laden? You see, Bin Laden, you like it, you don't like it. He is a legend. He himself earned his leadership. You know, you maybe disagree with him in something, you maybe agree with something. But Bin Laden, when he fought against the Soviet Union, it was everybody support him. When he fought himself really against, you know, America now, people don't want to support him. So either we have, you know, double standard or he has double standard. Do you? Wait, I run away from nobody. Now, if they ask me to return back, I will say, you know, I will never ever return back to UK. Nothing. Unless they declare apologies for the Muslims and stop the new law of terrorism, stop you know, terrorizing Muslims in Britain. Then after that, I may think to visit Britain in the future after I settle in Beirut. If somebody were to ask you why you left, why did you leave? I left because I can't sell my allegiance to the British government against my own people. I cannot and I will not and I, will, I must not consider the British forces in Iraq to be friendly forces. I believe there are enemy forces there and the Muslims there have the right to resist. The same thing in Afghanistan, the same thing, you know, to resist the Israeli occupation in Palestine or South Lebanon. That's what I believe. You know, Tony Blair, he should get lesson from the 7th of July because he failed to protect his own people and even the Muslim community. The better for him to resign and be a respected person or withdraw his forces from Iraq and change the new law of terrorism. Muslim community in Britain, the most peaceful community, they all will live in harmony. There is no need to dictate on them and divide to rule them. No, unite all the Muslims together. I think you will live in harmony with you the way we live for the last 20 years there. Thank you.